I'm going to bring, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from the graves, oh my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, oh my people, I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you, I place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. I want to preach this service from the subject, a revival in the valley. A revival in the back. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, where I am, you brought me. What I know, you taught me. What I have, you gave me. What I am, you made me. Lord, I am dependent on you. Can't do nothing until you come. This is your servant's prayer. I ask it in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. Revival in the back. Our text for today is well known to many who have been around church for any period of time. It comes to us from one of the stranger prophets of the Hebrew Bible. Ezekiel was not as smooth as Isaiah. Ezekiel wasn't as compassionate as Jeremiah. Ezekiel, by some, was a little off senator. The elevator didn't go up all the way. But that's good, isn't it, someone? That God can use even folk that others think are a little special. That don't help y'all, but it sure helps me. Because in a world where people want to choose what they like, Aren't you glad that God looks beyond what others like and shows you? Truth be known, all of us have a little Ezekiel in us. Some days we are together and some days we're a little crazy. Come on and say amen. Am I talking true? For some, if you catch me at the wrong time of the day, I could be a little off. Ezekiel had vision. John, Sandra, Ezekiel saw strange things. But yet, God chose him to be a preacher prophet for Israel. One day, God gave him a vision and told him to do something absolutely crazy. Can I go back to my first movement, please? The reason why God chooses people who are a little off because when God speaks to us, he would have us do some stuff that seems a little off. Come here, somebody. If you're concerned about how people see you, you can never be used by God effectively. Because when God has an assignment for you, sometimes your closest friends won't understand why you do what you do. Do I have a witness here? Sometimes it takes a little crazy to do the crazy work that God says to do. Y'all might know that me, but it's real. Ezekiel had a vision. 
In this vision, God showed up and took him by the Spirit and set him down in the middle of a battle. Are y'all there? It wasn't a pretty battle. It wasn't a valley that was so picturesque where you had the beautiful mountains on the left and on the right. This was a valley of devastation and destruction. The Bible tells us it was a valley full of dry bones. Not fish bone. Not chicken bone. Come on somebody. But bones of people. Can you imagine? Some of y'all are afraid to walk in a cemetery. Imagine walking in a place where all you saw up to your knees were bones of dead folk. Scattered all about the battle floor. No identification. Just skulls and arms and legs and hips and feet. All scattered about, so dry that even the birds stop coming by. Because when you get so dry, nobody wants to even pick your bone. Bleached by the sun, baked by the heat. Can y'all see it for yourself? No smell too dry. No decay too dry. No words too dry. So dry you could probably take the bones and hit them together and all you got was dust and ash. Set down in the middle of a valley full of dry Thank you. 
He didn't say, sure, God. He said, Lord, I don't know. Can I talk to somebody for a minute? Sometimes in life, things get so bad. You just got to tell God, I don't know. Y'all don't hear me. Now some of y'all think it's the whole story. It don't mean 
anything for you right now. But I want to tell you that there's some folk here right now. You're in the valley of your life. Y'all not going to help me. If you look back over the past five or six years, you used to be on the mountaintop. But now you're in the valley. And I'm going to tell you, you can't always live on the mountaintop.
do everything that you have to hand out to live. I'm talking to somebody right now. All you got to do is trust in the Lord. The Lord specializes in dwelling in the valley of his world. He knows how to bring folk up out of the valley and give them a life they never had before. There's about five of us who can testify here right now. We wouldn't take nothing for all we've gone through. Because we are able to testify right now. We're better for the journey. Better for the struggle. Thank God for everything. My brother, my sister, whoever you are, you may feel hopeless today. You may feel like there is no possibility. You may be better.